Hello. So, you know, we've all got days where we don't quite feel good enough. We feel like we've let our parents down or our friends down or even our teachers. But sometimes we feel like we've also let ourselves down and it happens. It's okay. The struggle, as you like to say, is real. But the thing is, you will get through it um, because you know, like I do, and I'm here to remind you if you've forgotten, that it's all about what you do when you are struggling. And in this video, I'm going to talk about three things that you can think about to help you if you are not happy with your results, if they were not what you expected, if you wanted more out of them, if it's causing you anxiety, sleepless nights, you don't feel good enough, watch the rest of this. The three things that research shows helps make a big difference in students' academic achievements, i.e. your grades, are context, student-teacher relationships, and effort, right? Notice that intelligence and aptitude are not part of the list I just mentioned. And this list applies to students all over the world. Students just like you and students completely different from you. So what is context? Context is personal factors and environmental factors. So how self-regulated are you? How self-aware are you? What kind of work ethic do you have? Ask yourself these questions and then try and change where you need to grow. Second, environmental factors. Do you, have a, do you have a space to study at home? Do you have a space to study at school? Do you have access to support when you get extremely stressed out, if you do, before an exam? And whatever the answers are, find solutions that might help you overcome these challenges in your environment. Then, the second thing, student-teacher relationships. We all deserve teachers who inspire us because those are the teachers who make you believe in yourself. And when you believe in yourself, that is where the magic happens, right? That is where your motivation kicks in. Which brings me to the third factor, super important, effort. You've got to do a little bit every single day, right? So you're going to break it down pre-class, post-class, on the weekend, just half an hour, 20 minutes per subject if you like, right? Do those little bits and pieces because over time, when it's exam time, you are ready. You are readier than you have ever been. I promise. Consistent, persistent effort, right? So to sum up, personal environmental factors, i.e. context. Second, relationships with your teachers. Find teachers who inspire you and build bonds with them. And third, your own effort. So I hope this helps you and I wish you all the very best and I hope it's a fabulous year ahead for you.